up. Uh, Trixie Cosmetics is a place of work is a flop because it's just insane I mean, what people have created. And I, I try not to see too much. I pretend I do not see it. Let me move my bang. But I have seen a little bit of it on the internet. So basically, streamers and creators have been decorating their islands and raising funds. Um, it's the grand finale today, folks. We're going to go visit some of these incredible islands. Once you guys see my island, you'll understand that I am in no place to judge. I am just in a place to awe and, and you know, at the spectacle of what's been created. So hello, everybody in the chat. Hello. Oh, hello. The chat says that I've been frozen like Elsa. I hope I'm frozen in a flattering way. That's all I can hope for. <clears throat> We're gonna keep it really light today with some of the stuff we're doing. Um, obviously we're here for a rather serious and important cause. Um, later, we're gonna chat with streamers about heart health and mental well-being in the LGBTQA plus community because what you feel and what's going on in your heart, unsurprisingly, are very closely linked. So we are gonna plumb some depths to the human spirit today, but we're gonna keep it light. You know, this is what it's what Tom Nook would have wanted to keep it very light. And you can still donate uh, via the Tiltify button on my page and the link in the chat. Yes, God. Wow, I even have the chat on slow mode and you guys are really like... <sighs> We're next, our next stream is going to have to be about uh, wrist health and like, you know, <laughs> finger health, perhaps. <laughs> yes. Oh, you love the hair, iconic behavior. Thank you. I know. I'll say this. When, I, when there's a Trixie Mattel pack in uh, Animal Crossing, higher hair, I think. Just higher hair. You know, that's what I'm ready for. Um, we, however, we will see some flat wigs today in, the, in, the, in my community here. Oh, thank you. Not finger health. Listen, we're looking out for fingers too, folks. So if you guys, uh, without further ado, I wonder if you have any interest in seeing um, my island. I have spent probably, I'm only like two weeks into this game. I go to the island once a day before bed for about 30 minutes. So I haven't necessarily, I'm not the, the Jeff Bezos, you know, I'm not the Mark Zuckerberg as far as like wealth accrued. Um, you know, my, my level of influence is not very high. I'm not famous on this island. Um, I look good, but that's all I have going for myself, which honestly, art imitates life, you know? So I think we could probably get in here and I want, I want you guys to see. <laughs> oh my God, Lewis Robinson's in the chat, says, show me the island, sis. I will show you the island. Um, if you guys are ready, should we go over to the island? <laughs> all right. So this is me. I look great. Um, I don't think I'd wear this shade of blonde. Um, it's a little, it's a little macaroni and cheese for me. You guys know I wear like a nice 613, but we're making do. Um, there's some of my items. You can see I have great glasses, great glasses. But you know what I figured out last night while I was playing this game? You guys look, 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 look. When you turn to the side, I don't know if you guys can see this. Oh, she has eyes. I do have eyes. I wasn't sure if I had eyes under there. I've got eyes. So uh, you guys can't see this, but I have all of the content creators in a Zoom today watching me, and they're looking at my island like this. Like the, the secondhand embarrassment. But listen, it's not all bad, you guys. So this is my house. <laughs> so this is where I live. Um, I haven't really, okay, this is. <laughs> So this is, this, this is my cricket. Um, her name is Cricket. This is my radio that I have that I mean, oh, that's not my radio. Uh, okay, wait, this is my party blower. This is kind of my big thing right now. <laughs> oh my God, the chat, you guys, this is a supportive place, please. Okay, everyone's like, I can't believe you live like this. Um, so yeah, that's my little party blower. I went to my friend Jess's island and got that. Pretty cool. Um, this is where I sleep. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Why is everyone laughing at me? Um, listen, I'm from the country. This is like prime real estate. Uh, that's another animal that I have. So 
I've gone to visit islands and I go to you. Just know that on Animal Crossing, if I'm coming to your island, it's not a social hour. I'm filling these pockets and I'm getting out of here. I'm taking what's not nailed down. Um, this outfit is obviously great. This is my uh, campfire. It doesn't start up, uh, but my character doesn't seem to get cold. So this is my generator. Uh, I don't, I don't, it doesn't start, it doesn't generate anything. Um, oh my gosh. Loving the chill vibes of your tent. Thank you. Did you guys ever think that maybe this is a, a green choice and I'm just trying to like live off the grid? This is this, it's a little sparkly thing on the ground. I haven't figured out what it is, uh, but it's there and it never moves. Uh, there's just some of my sticks. Sometimes I like to, uh, I, I will sometimes make a, um, a bug catching net and then carry it around. I don't really ever catch any bugs except my, my cricket cricket. Let's see who's over here. This is what I do a lot of the time, you guys. I eat the peaches, but I have, but what does it all mean? My character doesn't seem to get hungry. Like, does she know why she's eating them? I guess my goal in life is to eat 10 peaches. Sure. Not all the weeds. You, uh, weeds, you guys, I can't even keep the plants alive on my balcony in real life. What, would, would you, wouldn't, wouldn't it be shocking if my plants in the game were like well taken care of and the succulent on my patio was gray crust? Because that's pretty much what's going on. I have learned that if you shake the trees, other things fall out, but once in a while bees come out. But again, bees sting me but there's no, there's no um, consequences. My character just covered in stings and is, is fine, so. Go up to the gen and push A to use it. Maybe I will. Uh, this is this guy. Hey, Trixie, hey. What do you wanna to talk to me about? I'm all ears. What should I do? I'd love to know. Yes, yes, that is the question. Well, this island is a diverse habitat for many interesting creatures, you know. That's a lot like this Zoom, honestly. Yes, yes, you can catch all kinds of insects and fish. I have a question for the chat. Um, Tom Nook, do we think that's his real name? What do we really know about this person? A guy who moved to a remote island to sort of like get people to move there and give them all their money? I don't know. There's too much we don't know. I'd be most curious to see any creatures that you do catch. Well, can I, can I, do you want, ugh, I don't have any bugs right now. I wish you could also eat the bugs. Yeah, who would play Tom Nook? I see him as like a Don Cheadle or perhaps like a, um, if we're kind of going like a gender blind sort of casting, I think uh, Meg Stalter perhaps, I think she could deliver that really well. So this is some of my clothes. I haven't really figured out where things go. So I just throw things on the ground. Um, I have a scooter. I threw the scooter on the ground and it turned into a leaf. I don't know. Um, some more clothing. Clothing is nice. Some of my fashions, my denim pants. Wow, completely transforms the look. Look at that, that's not bad, right? I may live outside but I've got great fashion sense. That could be like my Real Housewives of my island tagline. I might live outside, but check out this hand knit tank. Tom Nick is the Don Cheadle of drag, I agree. And I'm here to show people I still got it. I made a fishing pole, haven't caught anything. I know you're supposed to stand in front of the shadow and cast it. Nothing ever happens. Um, I guess someone lives here. I'm having fun somewhere else. I mean, take me there. Do you see why I visit other people's islands? Because this is what I come home to. You know, I stand next to the, the sand dollar and blow my little, my little tootie thing. Anyway, this is more of my island. Um, it's just gorgeous, you know, being from Hollywood myself. Oh, my friend. Hello. This is my friend. You haven't been dodging me, right? Mary, I'm here once a day. I don't know where you are. He keeps saying chips. I don't know. Again, who, what is that? Oh. 
Message bottle. I have too many items. No, we don't need it. I'll let you know when I need this. I don't need it. I don't need to be a part of this. Um, there's a rock. I know you can break rocks. I haven't really gotten around to it. I just wish, um, you know, I am a life simulator myself. You guys know I've played The Sims before a lot. And what's great about The Sims is you can start with things. Uh, this is like, you know, Animal Crossing is sort of like some kind of Eagle Scout, virtual Eagle Scout certification, where you truly are just dropped off. Although the nice thing about this is I my character doesn't seem to get tired or need food. So I don't think anything could happen to me. Um, oh, there's a bug. Great, love that. Let's just chase it for a while. Um, I at some point want to figure out how to cross this island, this stream. I know that there's more over there. I hope that like just over this hill, there's a, a home that's not a tent and I could be a part of that journey. Oh my gosh, the Nicole X XOXO says, Animal Crossing is essentially naked and afraid. I agree. <clears throat> You know, isn't it funny that I often play like murder games and those don't stress me out, but this game and the general lack of direction has really stressed me out. Like, here's, uh, here's your island with no objectives. Good luck to you. And then I was at Jess's island the other day and I was like, oh, I'm gonna pick up this stick. She was like, yeah, take them. I don't need sticks. And I was like, sticks is one of the only like forms of currency I currently know about. I stole all this from somebody's island. Um, all this, look, all of this was stolen. All of this has been stolen. I guess let's go catch something. I don't know, I, I have a wand. I don't even know what that does. Let's just get this out of here. Anyway, this is my island. I think that this is a good place to stop because um, today we are kind of doing like a flip or flop, rags to riches, how the other half lives because I can tell um, that well, the islands we're about to see today are kind of going to be on another level. So I'm ready to travel if you guys are ready to travel. This is one of my little friends here. Who's your other friend on the island? I don't know who he is either. I mean, he looks like a son or daughter of Tom Nook. What's the story? Tommy Nook? That's what I'm saying. I don't trust these shady characters. Great. Again, more incredible pertinent information that has improved the gameplay for me. Thank you. <clears throat> so, I think we should get to know some of the folks here in the chat who are not me today. Let's have a quick moment here to remind everyone why we are here today. We are not just here to view the gameplay of somebody who is obviously very dedicated to their island. Oh, there's my other friend, that grasshopper. We also have an important mission here today, the American Heart Association. Uh, the focus here being heart health is directly related to kind of like stress and the emotion in your life. And let's just face it, uh, queer people in general end up carrying a few extra pounds of emo emotional weight at all times. So please donate today in the name of this fabulous thing we're doing. Yes, we're spamming. Uh, yes, we're spamming. There's donate links in the chat. I put on a wig for you guys and I put on a red dress. Just donate. I know we're, the focus today is supposed to be the conversation, but money talks and money can be part of the conversation. You'd be amazed. Um, a person experiencing, you know, a cardiac flutter, perhaps, wave a bag of money over them, they, right back to life, you know, snap right back into it. Look at this, everything that could be, like, look at this big empty section here. Like, when I someday can build something, something needs to go here. I don't know. I wonder if they have roller skating rinks. But I've learned from visiting islands, there's a lot of items, but not a lot you can do with the items, but stare at them. It's a lot like men in that way. All right, um, we are gonna uh, put you in a little right back, uh, be right back, get, get a little beverage for yourself and we will be right back.
Welcome back, y'all. Hello, welcome back, y'all. Hello, hello. Oh my gosh, a full screen of people now. <laughs> hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. hello. So I think it's time to start looking at some islands and we have some fabulous tourism photos, AKA screenshots of people's <laughs> items. And uh, some of these, I mean, I know that I set the bar exceedingly high and not everybody's <laughs> gonna be able to follow that and that's okay. But, <laughs> so uh, true. <laughs> but first up we have, we're gonna visit London Bradshaw's little uh, island via photos here. We have some screenshots, we have probably some overheads and I'm ready to be stunned. Yes. Whoa. That's a beauty. I love that. Whoa. Yeah. Reading those flowers takes yeah. work. <laughs> so long. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how um uh, people do it, but it took us a long time to uh make a NB garden over here. So um I don't know how people have the patience to play Animal Crossing for multiple hours to do something like this, but this took like five hours to make, so Props to anybody who does this. <laughs> the non-binary flag, it's beautiful. Yeah. So gorgeous. I love it. I maybe need non-binary friends who have a higher work ethic because I don't know any of them who could complete that. <laughs> 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 They'd be like, I love the sentiment, but like that's too much work. I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I also realized this morning, because we were doing it in the dark at nighttime, that the hyacinths um, were two different colors. So I dug them up and replaced them with uh, colors that possibly match. So don't judge, but here we are. So <laughs> It's still great. Oh, that's still cute. Gorge to me. That is, that is, that's a lot. That's a lot, that's of, a lot of flowers. Yeah. That's yeah. like you called into work that day. Like I can't have stuff going on. Uh, I had like six <laughs> friends come to my island to help me dig up all the flowers and then dig up the ground Aww. and move it all around. So oh, props to the NB community. So We're stronger as a community. Yeah. It's very sure. plant gay. <laughs> yeah. Very plant gay. <laughs> wow. That looks so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See, like something like that would be great, right? Right next to like where your airport is, so it's like the first thing people see. Right next Whoa, to your yeah, nice. yeah, right next to your woman in the wilderness tent that we yeah. saw. Yeah, <laughs> next to the generator. <laughs> next to the gen ne next to the full like the island from old, which is where I live, basically. Oh, not the island of old. <laughs> That's cool. Cool. Well, if your friends want to come over and do a project, they can come to my island. Um, Obviously, sure. we have enough work to go around. <laughs> <laughs> That's fierce. I love the flowers. Making designs in the flowers is so cool. It's hard work. It's, so much. But it's that big project. It's hard work. It's hard work. Yeah. But... Well, London's coming in hot and setting the bar really high. So thanks. Thanks. Congratulations. <laughs> Killing. Oh, Killing. So let's look at some uh, photos here from Andrew Arcade. Can we see the island? Love Andrew Arcade. Uh, He's not present here, but what? it's amazing. Uh, the party. That's Gorge. so fun. This is the fireworks. Oh my God. Everyone looks so happy. Everyone's got different Everybody's little pride different flags. clothes. This is so cute. There's cute. so much potential. Are you telling those... me that this person's <laughs> island started like my island? Yes. Yep. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> very that. Very that. Some people truly love themselves and give themselves quality of life and i love that <laughs> fireworks in the background and everything yeah it's All gorgeous the colors, the colors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. never wow. mind me complaining about the five hours i worked on my garden <laughs> <laughs> hey flowers um, take some work and animals yeah so don't, don't take care of yourself that too is... much Good. Meanwhile, Andrew Arcade is fully just building Disneyland. <laughs> that's, that's why Andrew's not here right now. Um, he's, they say that he may still be adding more to the scene. Oh. <laughs> yeah. They say at night, if you're really quiet, you can hear him still building it brick by brick forever. <laughs> and crying, probably. <laughs> but you know what's yeah. lit about this game? If, if People who like, it is a, um, it's, it's a Zen garden. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this probably sure. calmed him to build. I mean, it looks very happy. It's amazing. Come on. And look at the characters, too. I can't, I mean, they're, it's hard so, to even... cute. they're so cute. Wow. Mm. 
much happier than my island. My island's looking very sad right now. Looking at this picture. <laughs> I know suddenly deer leaves the chat like, never mind, something need, came up. <laughs> I need to update my island. No. That's amazing. Do we have another picture? I mean, not that that didn't blow our minds. I mean, I guess that works. By the way, can we have everybody introduce themselves? I know that based on the chat, a lot of you guys as regular subscribers are here. Can everyone go around? Deer, do you want to start? Sure. Hi, everyone. My name is Deer. Let's play with Shafir. I like to play scary games here on Twitch. And I'm founder and member of Team Stream Queen. So if you like drag, follow the Stream Queen, streamqueens.net. Get into it. Work. Work? <laughs> it works perfect. Hi, London. Hi, besties. My name is Lennon Bradshaw. I'm a non-binary Black content creator and Twitch's first Black drag artist who is a partner here on this platform, uh, the founder of Team Technicolor, and also a member of Team Stream Queens. So if, like you said, you know, if you like drag and POC people, follow me. And apparently tacos. I feel like I'm being yeah. Did tacos. you want here? Did you want one? <laughs> Were you, you hungry? One? Yeah. <laughs> Could you grab it for me? Yeah, me. Here, let me just. I don't know which way my screen is. Hold on. I'll <laughs> I'll come back to it. Okay. <laughs> London's lost. <laughs> Hi, Justin. Hello. Uh, so my name is Justin Moore. I'm a streamer here on Twitch, uh, and I stream under Justin Plus. I'm an ambassador, partner here on Twitch. I'm also the co-founder of the Rainbow Arcade. And I also work for the American Heart Association. So I just want to thank you all so much for your donations so far. It goes a really, really long way to helping our life-saving mission. And, you know, your donations can definitely help LGBTQI plus community members with access to health care, better education for medical professionals as well. So it's really, really important. And just want to thank everybody so, so much for your donations so far today. Thank you, Justin. There's something about Twitch people. They, I mean, anytime you can play video games and contribute to a cause at the same time, people love yes. it. It's oh, not absolutely. like that, like in any other community or social media, people yes. love it. Oh, absolutely. I think people just want like an excuse to play video games, like in a guilt-free way. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Like, <laughs> I'm not playing video games. I'm doing charity. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's gosh. like negative calories or something. Hi, Misha. Yeah. Oh, hi. I'm Misha. Hi. <laughs> uh, I'm Misha Crossing on Twitch and all other platforms, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, all that good stuff. Uh, I have a very queer and cozy community here on Twitch. We like to hang out and play Nintendo games, lots of Animal Crossing, which is where the crossing in my name comes from. You might not be surprised. And also like a lot of Dead by Daylight and Dungeons and Dragons, a big variety of stuff. And yeah, the, oh, I'm the founder and a leader on uh, the Plant Army stream team as well, which we have a couple members here. Uh, it's a lovely team of uh, inclusive folks that are very interactive with their communities and check them out. Work, 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 work. Hi, Tof. Hi. Can we talk so, about the look today? Oh, <laughs> Irving. <laughs> Elf in the room, like so. The Hi, giraffe my, in the room. <laughs> my name is Tof. Uh, I'm Tof on Twitch and Tof Games everywhere else. Uh, I am a gay and demisexual partnered streamer here on Twitch. Uh, I live in Tokyo, Japan, but I am from New York. Uh, I'm a Nintendo variety streamer. I love Animal Crossing. I have 1,500 hours in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Wow. Um, and I'm dressed up as Gracie Grace, which is a character that does not appear in New Horizons, but is in the older games. And I made this myself. And as you can tell, I just love Animal Crossing. So I'm really excited for y'all to see the things I did. And I'm excited to see everyone else's uh, designs too. So nice to meet you. Hello. <laughs> Wow, if this is how you dress for the stream, I'm assuming your island is about to be off the chain. <laughs> if this is like your casual outfit. Wow. It was for it. charity and I wanted to wear it again. So I was like, let's do it. Oh, you're killing it. Killing it. Thank you. Hi, Geeked Out. How are you? Hello. Hi, everyone. My name is Ed or I Geeked Out everywhere else. Uh, I'm a queer Mexican content creator. I like to highlight a lot of cute, cozy indie games, played uh, Animal Crossing, and lots of Dead by Daylight. And yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to be here and everyone's island looks beautiful. So please be nice to my island because it's, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> also I love that. Uh, you, listen, Animal Crossing <laughs> is a very passionate community and I love that you're already prepared to be read for filth. So, <laughs> you know, I love queer people, but we're inviting them to judge each other's islands here. So we're gonna keep it civil. 
they're gonna probably clap for your island in the chat, and then as soon as the, the it's over, they'll be like, "Girl, did you see her island?" Oh, my right. God. <laughs> <laughs> so in true queer fashion, they'll be nice to your face, and then, right, right. <laughs> then it's a whole different story. Yes, God. Hi, Jeff. Hello. Uh, so my name is Jeff Brutlog. I am uh, one of the leaders on the Plant Army with Misha. Uh, I'm also a variety streamer, so I do lots of lots of different kinds of games. My favorite tend to be like story driven or I love horror games. We've also been playing um, Final Fantasy 14 regularly on stream. So that's been like some nice and cozy times. Um, yeah, we keep it nice, uh, queer, safe space. Uh, tends to be a little chaotic, uh, but we have a lot of fun and uh, we're, we're pretty silly over there. It's pretty great. Well, we don't do that here. We don't have fun and we don't do silly. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to, so. <laughs> this is a serious group of people. Hi, Rain. Hello. Hi, I'm the Rainbow Bard. Um, I am a team leader on uh, Transtopia. I'm also a member of both the Rainbow Arcade and the Plant Army. So I'm just kind of everywhere. I'm kind of like glitter once it's there you know you just can't get rid of it it's just there <laughs> um i like playing a lot of fortnite that by daylight a lot of dungeons and dragons i like crafting on stream i've just started doing drag stuff i'm not good at it um but like jake says uh the best wait no the first i can't think i'm not good at this and that's the point okay that's me <laughs> <laughs> well listen deer and i aren't good at drag either it's a safe space it's true. <laughs> We're Do all just in your heart. Figure it out. <laughs> I wish that I did drag. You should all teach me sometime. London, you should try it. I should try it. It'll but don't fun. wear blonde. <laughs> yeah, don't. That's, almost, that's Deer's thing. I almost yeah. wore blonde today just to see what everybody would say. That's Shocking. Deer's thing. Don't steal yeah. from her. Oh, Deer's thing is also streaming, so everybody quit. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> I invented okay, drag, blonde, streaming, and Animal Crossing. Get on my level. Yeah. Since you <laughs> guys up, are all here. Hold up. <laughs> Since everybody's here on the Twitch app, if you want to follow any of the streamers you see on the screen today, I would stalk them immediately. Um, they're all regular, regular, regular content creators and live streamers, so you'll get tons of programming. Um, and I just want to say thank you all for being here, and I think it's time to visit some islands. So the first island we're going to visit, Tofa, are you ready for this? Are you ready for the judgment to come down on you like a hammer? Uh, wait, I'm first? <laughs> I think you are, right? Do we have a couple more screenshots? Yeah, I think actually? we had some more screenshots. No. Oh, we have more screenshots. Sorry. Let's look at some more islands. We're, just, we're all over the place. <laughs> Silence. Bring back our oh, islands. Oh, Eds. This, this is, is beautiful. My... This is freaking. Wow. Wow. Who did this? Oh my god. This is mine. But I will credit. I grabbed this idea from someone on Pinterest. So <laughs> what? I, just, I just really liked it. So I had to copy it and bring oh, it to my island. This is freaking cute. I'm about it's to so grab pretty. this idea from Twitch. <laughs> Twitch.com. Oh, <God. laughs> It looks like your bedroom, your real bedroom. It's beautiful. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> I love oh, that. What is it? Yeah. That cost and just wow. like KK Slider's just sitting in the background playing the guitar. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's like um the it's the the front lawn of um, Lucky Charms University. <laughs> we all see it. <laughs> <laughs> like there's the university in the foreground. <gasps> oh, it's so pretty. It's my I diner love... that no you... one ever visits. <sighs> but I would visit okay. that diner. <laughs> I'm a, this I'm is a watermelon hungry. dream. <laughs> oh, yeah, and this it's is probably Marshall's the fact that it doesn't have a yard. roof. Yeah, probably. But it's, it's gorgeous. Soggy. <laughs> it's, it's Southern California. It's outdoor dining. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Here we have Marshall's yard it's, because uh, I, I'm going to consider Marshall uh, queer. You know, us us gays love our coffee. <laughs> so, yes, this is a little coffee shop that. outside. It's iced, it's iced coffee only. <gasps> this is PH it's iced coffee house. only. Uh, we love a good clown. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Wait, that's Pietro's house? I, yeah. I think I think oh, Trixie needs so to see cute. Pietro. Uh, yeah, I think so too. Pietro, Pietro, is, uh... Pietro is a clown sheep who fans <laughs> can't decide if he's horrifying or cute. And I relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> relate to that. Oh, true. Polarizing. That is incredible. Look at the little teacup ride. Look at the ice cream. It's so so cute. <laughs> oh my god. This is the future liberals want. Pietro's cute. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Really. But it gives me it gives me SpongeBob Weenie Hut Juniors. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. Yeah. My, my next island. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> 
brushes. Wow. Oh, I like. I how... saw your pictures on Twitter, Ed, and I was like, okay, maybe I should back out now. <laughs> no, my island only looks cute in like pieces, but like once it's all together, it's there's weeds everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I've what happened to me gorge. too. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I had other stuff, to all of like us. other parts of the island that were really developed, and I just wanted to, you know, start slow. If we start high, we have nowhere to go. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's kind of like a symphony or something. Uh, can we see some more? Please. Oh, oh, this is oh, yeah. oh, I love yeah. that. Oh. That I love is amazing. Nobody look at the one pink hyacinth. I ran out of pink roses. So I look, <laughs> look I at look it. Closely. Yeah, it looks nice to me. <laughs> I don't see it. I don't even see it. Oh yeah, I that's because it. it's not there. <laughs> oh, I saw <laughs> it. I'm looking for it. Where is it? Where is it? I love. Oh, I love the pose of the. Oh, oh, I love this. So cute. Oh, I love this. That's really cute. Oh, that the rainbow brick at the back there. What? Where'd you get the rainbow brick? Did you make that? I did not make it. I looked up patterns. I straight up just put in we, pride, and it showed up. And I was we like, lifted perfect. it off Pinterest. <laughs> wow custom designs are everything in animal crossing so fun so cute this, is, Wait, this game is I, pinterest crossing yeah but actually have now this. i made this pattern it took me so long not really but i did make it <laughs> with, with oh. godzilla godzilla yeah. says gay rights he's breathing fire <laughs> everybody in the chat is loving the rainbow brick everybody wants to steal that now <laughs> nice i love that is I love the Godzilla queer also means Mothra? that giant reptar. Oh, and then you can see my money trees in the back there because oh, I man. like money trees. Wow, what a flex. <laughs> Rain is dry. I love it. I, Trixie's I, I mind I really is blown. Love... Like money trees. Yeah. Godzilla I'm over here right. collecting sticks and there's money trees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just gotta come over. <laughs> I guess this game isn't about developing, it's about stealing. <laughs> you could drop your dodo code in the chat please thank you so much you'll go back there tomorrow and there'll be nothing in those trees just empty that's amazing yeah but then i get to say i was robbed by trixie so who's the real winner <laughs> yeah <laughs> robbed let's you know what being robbed it's all about how you look yeah. at it. Whoa. oh my god like music away. festival little oh, like i have a little runway it. area like my idea was like you know that's where we have our fashion shows so of course i had to turn into a little sailor scout but it's oh, a fashion oh so cute yes oh my little cafe it's oh, so flag. cute yeah your flag oh, yeah so cute. what is that flag saying? everywhere <laughs> and then wow. you can also spot mary in her asexual pride shirt oh i love mary mary has oh, a double Mary's chin and she's so her. cute and she has little fangs when she smiles and I made the custom designs for all those shirts. So I decided oh. to put them out front of the, the Able Sisters oh, store. Awesome. Yeah. It looks so good. I'm going to steal those two. Uh, the okay, you better work, Jable. They are available to steal. <laughs> Trixie's making a shopping list of what she's going to take. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is cute. Oh, that's gone now. I took that. Oh no, where did, where did my stuff go? I'm going to put it next to my tent. I'm not, not going to figure out how to make a house, but I'm going to have all this nice stuff next to a tent. And oh, when you come ooh, to my got island, rainbow brick too. You immediately walk Can into somebody game. mail me the rainbow brick, please? <laughs> that is so, so cool. cute. I love it. The flowers are so nice. Yeah, I love wow. the sides. Oh, there's Mary again. Mary again. She was her, a star. She was her, she showing that off to me the whole time. Her chubby mm. cheeks and her blush and her lash. I love her. Oh, her. she's so cute. Little bangs. <laughs> her bang piece <gasps> and cat are non-bearing non-binary icon look yes. at what is up burrito what is up <laughs> listen a lot of beans wow <laughs> i love your hair thank you the pink it's, it's so, so accurate cute. it's in real life too maybe i did that for a reason <laughs> sucker in his pan pride pansexual king yes. wait is there a pan there there's, there's also there a frying in the shop. Yeah. <laughs> a frying pan. Not a pan, but I'm glad you You were too that. lazy to make a pan fried, a, a pan fried flag. So you just put a pan. <laughs> just put, I just <laughs> put a pan on him. There you go. <laughs> pan fried. Pan fried. Pan fried. Pan fried. Oh, mm. He is fried. Extra crispy. That is there's so many jokes there. Oh, no. Wow. Very deep. Well, those are pretty amazing. Uh, 
F in the chat for all those islands. <laughs> F in the chat. F in the F chat? In the chat? <laughs> F in the chat, which I think means someone dies. I don't think you can die in this game. Um, <laughs> you die when you never play again, when you log out for life. Yeah. So let's go. Should we go to visit our first island here, shall we? Nisha, are you ready? Are you ready for a visitor? I'm ready. I am standing oh, at my Island's airport so waiting to greet you. Okay, I'm going to my airport. Hey there again. What can I do? For, oh, uh, what is everyone's island names, by the way? I want to know. Uh, mine is called Korok Island. It's based off of... Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Koroks are little like forest spirits. At least it's something you know nobody's going to steal. Yeah, Mine... actually, I have had somebody else with that name. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yeah, Zelda names are popular. Yeah. Mine's also a Zelda name. So oh, see? Like... see. <laughs> oh. Yeah. We're nerds. I named, I named mine uh, Ryonoshima, which I probably said 100% wrong, but it's Japanese for Dragon Island because Dragon Roost Island didn't fit. Oh, so. that's cute. Oh, well, you yeah. made it work. I love Dragon Roost Island. I'm from Cauldron. Cauldron that's Island? Ooh, name. Yeah. I love that. That sounds Cauldron. like a real island from like a game, like a video game, like you would go to Cauldron Island. That's where you fight the boss, right? Yeah. <laughs> so it seems like we have to go to <gasps> Cauldron Island. Yes, that's where you find the boss that's like those three witches from Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let me just put in my little code here. I love those witches. I do too. I thought they were very chic in that game. When they transform and they're like super hot. Twin Rova. Oh, I guess. So good. <laughs> um, I my island is named La Isa, which is island in Spanish of some sort, so... You're being it, inclusive. It could, it could be Spanish. <laughs> what I'm getting from your answer. Yeah. Just Maybe Spanish? I named mine Serenity after uh, Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon she's yeah. Princess uh -huh. Serenity. And I also wanted oh, yeah. you just to feel serene in my island. So We all need to feel that once in a while. Okay? Uh, bless. I think if you're playing this game to stress yourself out, you're probably playing it wrong, right? I've seen some people get pretty stressed out about Animal Crossing. <laughs> uh, me, me last night at 2 a.m. before this panel. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wait, Trixie, what is your island's name? Uh, Skinny, Skinny Island. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Trixie from Skinny, it makes well, sense. Well, somebody, me, somebody told me like with absolute gravity, like once you name it, you can't change it. So That's I'm like, so this true. game already starts with like this huge endeavor. Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. start with the one thing you can't ever change again. Like, oh my gosh. Can I tell you and something you're committed in, to? <laughs> skinny. When people come into my chat sometimes, they'll be like, can you give me an idea for island name? And I'm like, sorry, I can't. It's really serious. You need to decide that on your own. And they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's it's like a drag name or something. Like, can you, like, you know, does your drag mom, like your island mom pick out your name for you? It's personal, you know? Look at how pretty this island is already. Oh, I know, this island, island is so good. It's incredible. Wow. <laughs> I've toured it on my stream even. That's how good it is. Really? Yeah, Ranch I've done your so dream beautiful. island before. <laughs> I'll have to watch. I did not know. Are those, and I, sorry, are, those are those clothes? Yes, so I do have a couple of presents, a couple of uh, clothing options for you, if you would like. Oh, uh, Trixie, you need to change the look. That's what Misha said. We we have a uh, gay beach party going on here, so well, I figured I gotta I'd of, throw some I gotta some get festive... rid of some of my riches. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Toss <laughs> drop whatever. Drop the trash. Yeah, here's, here's the acorn. Let me drop a bunch of trash in your island. Sorry, hold on. Hi, I, beads. I just it. arrived. Let, let me just take a dump on your island, Misha. <laughs> I'm okay. here. I'm prom, Tiara. I, I want that. <laughs> Can we put it on? No one gets stressed about Animal Crossing. Also, let me show when Trixie dumps things on her. <laughs> oh, That's my fashion. life is improved. Ew. Wow, a mermaid dress, a festival. Wow, this is a hot dog costume. Wear you it right now. Throw a fun one out there. Yeah, there's a hot wear dog it. costume. Wear it right now, please. You have and the one dress. next She's to you is favorite. the hot dog hood as well. Word. To complete the look. <laughs> Serving. <laughs> Love it. Wow, this is amazing. Look at this sign even. Come on. Yeah, so that's pointing oh, down this way is our gay beach party. I made a pirate ship for my Zelda themed island, but I've repurposed it to be our uh, 
gay beach party down here. So we've got a little rainbow. Oh, wow. Uh, lounge Gorgeous. chair. God. Um, uh, I've got the this float to greet you with some confetti when you come in. And down here, this is the actual ship. So I think it's kind of like a party cruise. Like we've got uh, a performer yeah, up here. Yeah. Oh man, wow. this is Trixie's first gig it. in Animal Crossing. <laughs> get on stage, girl. Get on stage. Please, get up here, sing us a number. Management present. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. You've got the vacation shoes ready. Yeah. And then if you click on this uh, this little firecracker down here, it'll set off a firework. If you do A on it. Oh no, is it not <gasps> gonna do it? Because it's Ooh. not on the ground. Hold on, let me oh. see if I can. Oh. Let's figure this out. You can troubleshoot. Listen, as a community, we're stronger together. And that's what, <laughs> <laughs> that's what the Here American Heart Association is all about. We can do it together. Oh! <laughs> My face! Back away, back away. I should have warned you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, I'm better now. I seem fine with it. I seem really fine with it. So Beat for the gods. <laughs> I like these giant glowing ice cream cones. Yeah, so I love cute. that. There's a rainbow one, too, that I saw a couple other people had on their island, but... I didn't have that, so wow. we got a blue one instead. Um, but yeah, try to include as many pride flags as possible. Uh, and I, I got a little no a little DJ booth towel. back there. Yeah, the beach towels are so cute, customized. They're perfect for some uh, some pride flags. And we got a love it. Love little that. DJ back here. The DJ is a mannequin. <laughs> yeah, DJ is a store mannequin. I couldn't find anybody last minute to DJ, so <laughs> you're making do. I'm gonna see if I have a. Do I have like a dance? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Little emote that you get from your villagers. You get to dance. A dance. Oh, don't flex oh. on Trixie like that. Oh. Trixie doesn't have this those. Is, this <laughs> is just like what you what you can look forward to by talking with your villagers. My character has nothing in its life to dance about. <laughs> <laughs> there is no joy. So this is honestly what it feels like when I go to Lisa Vanderpump's house. I'm like, oh, I live in a tent. <laughs> Do I have to go home? <laughs> Not this. She's like, so I'm like, I'm the... calling an Uber. She's like, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get this float? Uh, it's from an event called Festival. What time of the year is it? Somebody else will know. I think it's, it's February, February or February? March. Yeah. yeah. I think it's February. Yeah. Springtime. Just a wow. big springtime festival. Yeah, where you, that's where that like confetti machine back here is from. Uh, I love Deirdre. I love Deirdre. She's my favorite. She's beautiful. I the love white that lips. name. The Deirdre white lips is are so an icon. good. She's her white so lip cute. is iconic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love all the deer villagers. Uh, she's it's so cute. cute. She's my baby. She's my star. She's really cute. I love her wig, if that's a wig. It's just a little plopped on little little. I wonder if it's any a villagers are wearing any of our pride because I have pride shirts like Jeff did on their island, and it looks like nobody else has decided to Ooh, join the pride she? party. This Blanche is Blanche. Is strutting. She looks so good. Wow. She's so she's cute. Fierce. Which way should we go? Um, I mean, uh, that's the pride themed part of the island, but we can pop around to, this is Kakariko Village from Breath of the Wild. Oh my um, God. So this is the clothing store that you find in that town that you can purchase some armor and stuff from. This uh, is the clothing. And the, yeah, so if you get custom designs, um, like clothing custom designs, you can just plop them out on mannequins like that, which is cute. I'm sorry, everybody's wow. face in this chat is like just dropped with like, oh, oh, like I just like we're stunned. The texture, the texture of like the dirt and the brick on the ground. Yeah, I, say, is, I love that pad. It's, it's just so amazing. cute. It's one of the best, <clears throat> it's the most popular used one. Yeah. If you go to not to plug anything, but mishacrossing.card.co, it has like my custom designs that I use. If you see anything and you're curious, I have them all listed. There. It's incredible. Um, so this is, is a fairy fountain. This is the great fairy. Oh, I yeah. love this. Part. Yeah. So oh. if you pay some some rupees to the great fairy, she will come out and uh, bless you and smooch you and uh, upgrade your clothing for you. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Oh. This is incredible. Thank you. Um, okay, I'll take you one other place. I don't want to take up too much time. Everyone in the chat is like 
do I put more time into Animal Crossing or do I quit entirely? <laughs> do I find a new game? Yeah, everyone's like, wow. My I've been playing this too. since the game came out. I've been working on it for a long time. I just recently completed it. Um, but if you hop over this way, I've got a little, well, hold on. Secret passage. There we go. Yeah, we got a little secret tunnel back here. Secret what? Tunnel. What? What? Uh, wow. What? <laughs> So this oh is God. like the spring of power, I think, is what it's called in Breath of the Wild. You can come here and uh, level up your heart oh, or your stamina. On the yeah. So this is, is like so one of the cool. first things I terraformed, all the waterfalls. I had so much fun with it. There's a lot of people in the chat who've never played Animal Crossing before, and I want them to know, like, you know, you were, you're starting hot, okay? Like... <laughs> <laughs> You're watching Serena Williams, and then you're going to go play tennis. And you're going to be like, oh, wow. Like, just set <laughs> so your expectations. More than you can chew. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> be a little um, more humble. Yeah. When you start Here, early here's game an in-game time. Crimes. We'll take the long way around back to town, but this is a stable. Wow. Wow. So cute. Oh, the puppy plushie. Yeah, you can turn on the puppy, and it'll start barking at you. How many Even hours do you have? Uh, oh, like so close to cute. a thousand. Same. Wow. Yeah, yeah, somewhere around there. <laughs> We're all around there, yeah. yeah. Oh, I've got these random pride flags because I replaced some of my designs to get oh. the pride flags, so they're just kind of <laughs> scattered around. If you guys are blown away by this, please donate. Go ahead and hit the link because, I mean, the work involved is just insane. Insane. I did this for charity for the American Heart Association, so please reward my work. Donate wow. to charity. Thank it's you so just... much. It's, I like, have, I, it's just crazy. It's crazy. It's amazing. Come on. Thank you. I love your flower swirl, like that one lady who yells at you for stepping yeah, on the flowers. Yeah, you can't step That's on her flowers best. or she'll beat you up. Yeah. <laughs> Beatles this, little. Yeah, this is a guy who, oh, I accidentally replaced his, Beatles is it... face is supposed to be on that sign back there, but I replaced it for my little face paint, my little bisexual face paint. <laughs> <laughs> but it's this... a guy who loves bugs a lot, basically. This is your taxidermy <laughs> section. <laughs> this is where the, the town starts to get a little morbid. Yeah, and oh, then there's, there are some ruins down here, um, which have been taken over by bacoblins, which are little monsters that'll attack you if you get too close. The irony of having to put a bunch of work into this to make an area look neglected. I know, exactly. <laughs> they need to give us like mossy, like decayed fences because I had to put a lot of work into making it look so old and neglected. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Apparently I threw this like bee, like wasp nest in the right area. Put yeah, that is the perfect place for it. The bacoblins <laughs> can deal with it. <laughs> it's just amazing. It's just amazing. You know what? Let me go ahead and hit you with one of these. <laughs> Tweet, Stole that. Stole that. There you go. Thank you. Oh, oh that was beautiful. <laughs> what, what do I have? Oh, I have confetti. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> Could you imagine going to a it. store, stealing something, looking at the shopkeeper, and blowing this thing in their face and walking out, and then stealing just leaving. something and leaving? Well, we're, we're actually gonna we're gonna depart the island because we got to go visit Tope. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I can't live up to that. Truly. I Tof just disconnects, never to be seen again. <laughs> Delete Delete my Delete Shamed. My Shamed out of the island. <laughs> Tof's island is gorge. Y'all will be shook. I'm excited. Thank you for visiting. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. Wow. I've never seen anything like that. I mean, you see screenshots of people's islands and you think, oh, that must be like the best part. I don't know if people necessarily have islands that are completely flushed out. It's like a storyline. Mm -hmm. So fun to work on too. It's just been very relaxing for me for the past. Got like Soothing. how long has Animal Crossing been out? A year. A year. A year. Over yeah. a year. About over a year, a year, and a year and half. now. Yeah. A year so I've been working half, exactly. on it since uh, the game came out, and I've taken some breaks just because you get burnt out on doing the same thing for so long. Uh, but it's been very relaxing and having something to like focus on to build, even though it's just in a. A video game it's really really helped the rough uh year that <laughs> that it's been yeah well i mean lgbtqia adults and children face a lot of you know psychosocial stressors that normal people don't even have to think about um would you say that playing this game seems like it was kind of right time right place for a lot of people's mental health 
Yeah, absolutely. It's already such a calming game because even without like the huge design aspect of it, you can just play it every day and talk to your villagers and check the shops and catch a bug, you know, like there's no pressure to do anything more than just what you want to log on and, and do. It's super relaxing for, yeah, a lot of people, no matter how you want to play it really helps take your mind off the the hard stuff that's already hard, even without the pandemic that has been so prevalent the last couple of years. <laughs> yeah, especially in a pandemic, it's like, how do you get up at, in the day when you have nothing to look forward to? But it's like your little game, you want to talk to your villagers, the store opens at nine. So it gives you a little thing to look forward to. Yeah. There is no COVID in the game as far as we know. Absolutely not. not. This is not a yet. good place. <laughs> well, like, dear, you should mention what happened with your birthday through Animal Crossing. Like, that's a perfect example of how this helped us, yeah. a lot of us, through mm-hmm. COVID. Oh, my Celebrating God. Celebrating and being yes. together. Yeah, my, my boyfriend, um, my birthday is in April. So last year, it was, like, right when the pandemic started. And my boyfriend time traveled and got all these birthday items and literally threw me a birthday in the game because I couldn't. <laughs> We couldn't really see each other for long periods of time. So he like threw a birthday with music and every everything and had friends like hidden in a room. And then they came out and just like was like with confetti and all this stuff. And it was just wild. Give and I cried, on, I cried on that stream. That was so sweet. That was so that. sweet. Wow. I know I people who were doing like off. during Drag Race, they would do like um, they, after watching Drag Race, they would get together on someone's <laughs> island and do like a runway presentation. Yes. Justin did a Justin's lot of done uh, that. Yeah. runways. <laughs> yes, I held a runway competition, eight seasons of a runway competition called Little Miss Booch Bay. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> and oh, had eight, eight winners and then an all-star season, which Trixie, you know, all-star seasons well. So <laughs> Yes, I do. It gets harder and harder. <laughs> I, and I love that too, because queer people are probably like, I don't even know. I'm just, I'm going to wear whatever, AKA I've been up all night making something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> designed this by hand. Yeah. Absolutely. People love to be like, I'm not ready. And they're like, it's all I've done for a week is get ready for this. I mean, I made I this outfit in like 10 minutes. So. I just wake up in the morning. Uh, this is a great, I mean, this game is a great example of unwinding a little bit. Is there anything you guys like secret, um, secret tips secret hobbies and activities that really get you in the zone with your like your mental health and all that playing with my dog oh yeah yeah i don't know what i would do without my dog cooking or baking for me honestly kind of does it because it's just it's all i end up focusing on and then like everything else in my head just goes away i totally think that too because like at least with cooking or baking you start with nothing and you end with something and you're like if if there's one thing i control right now it's this like yeah Yeah. i made this into this you know the building could be on fire probably from my cooking (laughs) (laughs) but you made something but i made something good Mm -hmm. and you just follow directions (laughs) this is delicious do you smell smoke (laughs) I kept watching Ed's TikToks. Ed, you do your TikToks for like K-pop videos and stuff like that, where you actually play the the things. Uh, and I just thought they were incredible. Yeah, I my way to relax is by spending money on K-pop albums and vinyls. <laughs> Retail therapy. <laughs> it's real. It's, it's so real. real. Yeah. So real. So real. When, when Pride money. Month happens, and usually I have like you know, Pride Month, as you guys know, for streamers and content creators, Pride Month starts in May. And it like we're doing pride up by the time people are celebrating pride i'm like breathless like oh, oh. and usually at the end of pride i'll buy myself something because i'm like i need some sort of like you deserve it yeah like, self gift <laughs> oh wow yeah. look at this look at the maze, the maze. Oh, wow cute. so one, one thing you should know trixie in this game a lot of designers will pick themes like cottage core fairy core like to theme their island my oh, yes. island is what you call norm core, where uh-huh. it just looks like a livable island with things you would see in real life. It's not fan fantasy like Misha's island. We're just I, normal here. But I a was, special kind of normal. <laughs> I may, may or may Oh, you look so cute. I can't even take it. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait. Oh, your uh, flag. <laughs> Unfortunately, I, I don't have anything for you, so I'm sorry. No, that's fine. 
<laughs> here's, here's a nice tasty orange. Here, I, I bring I bring gifts. Um, oh, okay. Let's see. <laughs> you take <laughs> Misha's, Misha's gifts Misha's and give them to Toph. Yeah. It's a re-gift. No. Not the re-gift. No. I'm screaming. Well, I'm here. I got you some denim pants. Great. Oh, oh thank you. Cover your legs. <laughs> <laughs> no ankles allowed. It's not that oh. kind of stream. I, I have no room in my pockets. I'll just have to leave it here. Look at her, Leafhead. <laughs> Leafhead McGee. She's an orange. She's my, she's my favorite. Her name that is That is Tangy. her name. Wow, she is stunning. In Japanese, her name is Hyakpa, like 100%, 100% juice. Oh, <laughs> really? Oh, oh. From concentrate. <clears throat> okay, so uh, I'm, I'm kind of really this type of person, but I practiced how I would tour with you on my island, so just follow me. <laughs> we, oh, love, we love a this rehearsal. Is, this a is where we kiss. I'm going to lead you to all the places I decorated. This is the, the shining. Island. This is the shining. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to start snowing. So this is my bamboo grove. Oh, and this I made, isn't uh, normcore. This is, this norm is fabulous. Core. I live in Japan. This is normcore. Oh, good point. <laughs> <laughs> this, is my, this is my rainbow bridge. And For my Japanese people, pond. normcore is, uh, you know, a lot more beautiful and exciting, apparently. This does look like my house. <laughs> Oh, I love the rainbow light. The rainbow light is such uh -huh. an wow. iconic idea. Is and then if you frog? come up here, yeah, it's a frog. It's How a little cute. frog uh, candy thing. And uh, this is like a little shrine I made over here to gay. I wish I could show you my whole island because just beyond here, there's a broken bridge leading, leading to a haunted campsite with lots of blood and a killer doll. Oh. So, so there's very normal here. Stuff. Why it's can't very normal. Normcore. Yeah, norm this, very normcore. <laughs> Murder. This is this is normcore. Here's my uh, <laughs> rainbow sculpture shrine. I like I like cute, I like cute, but I like scary. If you look behind me, I have a Hello Kitty Chucky doll. <gasps> Ooh. I'll show it to you later, Trixie. If you How want to see it. Did I not notice that? It's really it's really cute. I love Chucky. I love cute Chucky's and scary fresh. things. Fresh. Love it. So if you oh wait, I want to show you this. It's not pride themed. But uh, this is my bamboo memorial grove. Um, not to get like deep, but if we're talking about mental health today, uh, this is a memorial for my mom who passed away mm -hmm. before I moved to Japan. Aww. And I made this so that even when I'm in Japan and I can't visit her grave in real life, I can feel like I can visit her. Mm -hmm. So this is peace mm -hmm. of mind for me, making this in the game. That's, That's beautiful. beautiful. I love, love that. I feel that. I feel that she's a little too close to the murderous doll. <laughs> <laughs> she, she understands the type of person I am. She gets it. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> so if you come this way, uh, this is my Ooh, I like market. her. Sahara. Oh, fun fact, Trixie. Sahara in the English version of the game is uh, female. But in the Japanese version, the original, uh, he is male. They changed his gender when they brought it to the West because they thought the uh, the long eyelashes would confuse people. Men don't have eyelashes, yeah. Because men yeah. don't have <laughs> eyelashes. <laughs> oh I find God. that especially funny because ever since I went on testosterone, my eyelashes have been so much better. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, they hmm. had it right in Animal Crossing the first time. Yeah, and so Deer has lashes on and she doesn't look female. <laughs> 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 Excuse me? Where's my close-up? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I would no. I would think for I would think for testosterone that would be a surprising side effect. Like, are my lashes <laughs> thicker right now? <laughs> so yeah, I, I, was, made, I was pretty surprised. I made this parade float and I tried to fill it with different uh toys to represent people so like the back matryoshka dolls are blue and pink to represent the trans community and then like the gnome in the front with the leather jacket and the glasses is you know like our leather daddy community. is it daddies <laughs> <laughs> the gnome represents to cover all the mm -hmm. not the gnome <laughs> represents fulsome i definitely <laughs> think of gnomes when what, I think of what community is the red <laughs> what community is the 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 like wrestler <laughs> The wrestler is muscle gaze because he's like a luchador wrestler. <gasps> oh my God, what, what community is the little red and white doll? The, the little red riding hood. killer doll community. Oh, okay. The red riding hood community. The bear community, the hula girl community. <laughs> well, the bear is actually supposed to represent furries because I think they're underrepresented in the queer community. So I agree. Bear? 
Are you so kidding down me? On... Marshall's wearing a tiara back there. <laughs> down I on my beach, beach. <gasps> a I made, I made a, an <laughs> exercise a, area because I knew a that this bear was... beach. No, 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 no. Because this is for American Heart <laughs> Association, I didn't want to just decorate for pride. I also wanted to make like an exercise area on my beach oh. because uh -huh. this is about cardiovascular health and taking care of yourself. And I think physical health is tied to mental health. So um, Trixie, if you want to come on one of these yoga mats real quick, I'm going to teach you a pose. Okay. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> now watch, watch me. I call this skinny twink squeezes through a crowded <gasps> club to get to his friends at the back <laughs> at the bar. Watch this. This is how you squeeze through a crowd. Say, like, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> my friends are in the back. I need to get past, please. please. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the way that I've done that so many times. So remember that. Remember that for later. I, I've done it. <laughs> the way that and was then, me, like Labor Day weekend. <laughs> yeah. The alternative of that being move. That's the true <laughs> option. Move. I'm gay. That's the straight way. Um, yeah. So <laughs> if you follow me up here, um <laughs> i have like my rainbow flower garden this is every flower in the game organized in a rainbow because you know why not this is gorgeous. every flower in the game yeah every flower in the game organized by color wow. Oh, wow and then up here is my museum i did this like cute little pond with uh wow. statues in the middle and then look we have like astrological gay gay moons with <gasps> Oh, Snowflake. oh, snowflakes yeah. are supposed to be stars. They're oh, supposed to be stars. Dude. They're beautiful. Wow. Love that. I wish and I then the there's only one other thing. Wait, okay. There's one other pride thing, but then I have to show you my scary doll. Can I show you my scary doll? Yes, I think, I think that- <laughs> Is that a euphemism? I, I, think, <laughs> no, no. I think queer people have a very special relationship with horror in general. I think- Okay, then yes. come this way. Absolutely. So this is, this is Dolly. Oh, oh! <laughs> didn't we see her at the pr Pride Parade? Yeah, she moves around a lot. She moves around a lot. And I don't want to point fingers, but like I just had a duck move off my island not that long ago. And he said he was going to get some fruit before he left. And then I, and then he never said goodbye. I don't know what happened to him. But uh, this trail of strawberry jam appeared and Dolly was here. Wait, there's handprints. <gasps> it's nothing. It's nothing. Don't worry maybe, about it. Maybe yeah. he fell down the well. He might need it's, help. It's not crazy. Really. Wait, it <laughs> wasn't. Ducks don't have hands, so it wasn't him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Are they toes? <laughs> maybe they're I'm toes. I, oh, I'm I lost you. Where are you? Uh, Trixie, oh. don't panic, but I think you should probably get back to the airport now. Okay. <laughs> so let me make a break for it. Uh, make a break for it. Uh, I'll lead you out. I'll lead you back to the airport. And uh, on the way out, you'll see something that is cute, I promise. Okay. You're not actually going to the airport. You're going to where? <laughs> no, no, no. I, 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 we're going to the airport. We're going you're to being. Airport. I don't know what the legal like. Large. But look, it's a puppy park. This is oh. my dog park. <gasps> oh my god, oh. that is gay too. Yeah, With the Louis Delmation. Gays love dogs. Oh, I love this. Love That's where oh, I met that my last. Buried a bone. <laughs> Dog park rules. That's where I met my last boyfriend, but I didn't actually have a dog at the dog park. So. <laughs> <laughs> that creep. You, like, you, know, you were you were crawling around on a leash at the dog park. Oh, uh, very true. <laughs> so true. It was me. Well, thank you for having us on the island. No, thank you for coming. I really it's appreciate it. Just being part amazing. Of this. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> thank you. Everybody, I, give it up for Toe. What an incredible island. Come on. I am burning my island the to the ground. Yeah, is anybody yeah, else in the, the chat, chat or here feel like they are just going to delete the game now? <laughs> like it's over. That was I think beautiful. I'm giving up. Yeah. It was amazing. <laughs> so good. Tell. Okay, people in the chat are like, okay, I need a dog park. <laughs> yeah. What? See, Normcore. Normcore, right? Why aren't there cats in the game? There is. There is. The cat what? tower, if you touch it enough times, it meows. It goes, no way. There's a cat inside of it. <gasps> How cute. Wow. That's adorable. You just have it's to touch it a couple of so times. Weird it's weird. You just have crossing. to tease it. Okay. Tease the cat. Yeah. Okay. Piss it off and it'll hiss. I, at you. I know how to do that. <laughs> it's amazing, amazing, amazing. Well, let's uh, powder our noses and grab a sip of water and we will be right back.
And we are back. Welcome back from the restroom. Welcome back from getting your water. Um, we have a fabulous panel here. We do look like um, socially distant Brady Bunch somehow, I think. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> but I really want to thank the American Heart Association for having us today because the American Heart Association is all about helping people live healthier, longer lives and dedicated to promoting equality and reducing health disparities among LGBTQIA plus people by actively pursuing inclusive policies and supporting the community. Um, it's not surprising, uh, cardiovascular disease is one of the leading killers of the LGBTQIA plus community, and that has to be related to a lot of the stressors and discrimination and acts of violence surrounding us at all times and creating sort of honestly like negative pressures on our health. And I just wanted to open up to some of the streamers we have today, full-time real life professional streamers. Um, Twitch has really uh, like emerged as a platform that has allowed LGBTQA plus streamers to have safe, acceptable, like accepting supportive environments. Um, and I know for me, especially during the pandemic, gaming on Twitch to, you know, at a time where I wanted to do some kind of fundraising, but I couldn't leave my house, using it to raise like $88,000 last year was a way for me to help, but not have to leave my house. And it made me feel better. It made me feel connected to the community. How about any of you? Mom, same. dad. Same. <laughs> same. <laughs> Everybody just says same and we move on. Right? Next yeah. question. I think it's, um, it's really amazing because we are streamers. We're here. Um, we have the internet at our fingertips. And it's cool to hang out with people, especially in a pandemic where we can't see people face to face. And I think to me, that's what helps me feel healthy is feeling connected to communities when I mm. have to physically be far away. Because for the longest time, we haven't been able to go to the gay club. I mean, you couldn't perform at the gay club. We couldn't go and visit the gay club. So we had to make the um, internet, that gay club experience, that, that connection. Animal Crossing is the gay club. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> there is. You saw those islands. I see. Yeah, I saw those islands. Um, I agree, and it's sort of like, especially at a time. I remember at the beginning of last year, it was like my entire social life was uh, playing video games with my friends. You know, it's the only part that didn't feel different. The only part of life that didn't really feel different. You know. All right. Yeah. yeah. It was nice because, like, you know, kind of similar to like what we were talking about earlier, where like Animal Crossing gave us that purpose to kind of like come log on to something every day and like check in with things. Like, I feel like Twitch kind of became that as well. Uh, we kind of got to our, like, we got used to like the the feeling of community that a lot of our, our favorite queer streamers gave us just by like being there and doing what they were already doing. So it kind of like created a sense of normalcy. Yeah, and I have to address the obvious, which is, I mean, not every company or nonprofit sees us 11 months out of the year. Mm -hmm. And so yep. what does it mean to you guys that American Heart Association is contributing to our visibility this way on a month that isn't June, you know? Yeah, I can, yeah. Sorry, go, go ahead, ahead. Dietrich. No, you go ahead. Okay. I was just going to say, yeah, it's so always so frustrating seeing companies, you know, it turns June and then they plaster their rainbow Twitter icons and their high queen, yes, slay advertisements all over the place. But then once Pride Month is over, you know, there's no more support at all or acknowledging the queer community at all so it's really really refreshing and heartwarming to see companies like especially charities and great organizations acknowledging us and um, showing support to the queer community all year round you yeah smiled. it is nice i mean like uh you know again it's usually like june 1st i'm always like Next year, I'm not going to let them throw me like a rag doll. And then like June 1st happens. I'm like, hello, how can I help you? But I mean, <laughs> queer people, we carry a lot of this baggage full time while we're sleeping, while we're on the like everything every single day. And I have to say, uh, living a long, healthy life as an LGBTQIA plus person isn't easy. This is shocking. According to a scientific statement from the American Heart Association, queer adults experience worse cardiovascular health than their cisgender straight peers. Shocking, not surprising. You name it, it's taking a toll on our health from the increased use of tobacco in our community, vaping products, to psychosocial and interpersonal stressors. And in some cases, it can lead to unhealthy lifestyles. So with queer adults also reporting high rates of some form of discrimination by healthcare professionals, I mean, how does that make you feel? I mean, I know for me, being queer, living in like a rural area, 
I didn't even necessarily feel comfortable with my doctor to talk about anything, you know? Yeah, I was going to yeah. say that, like, it's not even just feeling like we might be turned away or that, you know, them not understanding where we're coming from. It's, it, it's even before that, it's in our own heads, that feeling of like, do I even feel comfortable explaining these things? Will I be accepted? And then sometimes we go, you know, and we're not, and we're faced with that reality. And it, it kind of, uh, you know, makes us feel like all of our, all of our bad ideas were true. So I think it's really important for us to feel like we can take that first step and not get turned away or misunderstood, I think is maybe is more common. Mm -hmm. And I, to add on there, I think it's kind of a crapshoot on if your doctor is going to be obsessed with your genitals. <laughs> like, I hate to say that, but it's true. Like, oh, you know, like I'm having chronic migraines and they're like, okay, well, let's, you know, how's your period? And it's like, wow, like it's not the coolest. Or I get a lot of she uses they, them pronouns in the medical community specifically. Like I've heard that at the doctor, at the hospital, specialist, whatever, literally every single time. And it's just like, I guess you get points for trying, but you know, I think a little bit more inclusivity in the mental health community and just health community in general would, you know, go a long way. Yeah, especially since some of this stuff is already private and personal. If you're not feeling comfortable with who you're talking to, it's, you know, it's more likely that it's going to worsen. I mean, I have family members, I won't say who they are, but I have family members who have such crippling depression or anxiety that it also can affect you financially because what if you just can't go to work that day or you have a hard time going to job interviews, period. I mean, the way that this can also trickle down to your like economic status and your social life. So, I mean, there's science in this. If you guys are comfortable sharing, are there any specific mental health challenges that you or your loved ones have faced? Because again, that all connects to your heart. Oh, I, mean, I have one. I hate uh, to take the floor what? again. No, take the floor. Rain, rain, rain. Everybody's taking the floor. Rain, go, go, go. But I, I am pretty openly uh, open about being bipolar. And, you know, that obviously affects my mental health a lot. Like I have really high highs, have really low lows. And it's something that I'm always going to deal with. It's something that's always going to be there. It's something that I manage with, you know, medication, therapy, et cetera. I have like my whole health plan, but it is something that, you know, I do have to deal with for the rest of my life, which, you know, can always be just, it's just great. It's wonderful. Love it. <laughs> it's love it. It makes my life easier. It's wonderful. I recommend it to everyone. Yeah, it's really cool. I really get Kanye's music because, you know, <laughs> just kidding. I haven't actually listened to any of his stuff for like years. So please don't quote me on. <laughs> no, you go to his church. We caught you. Um, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> does anybody okay, else want to add on that? So I, I just wanted to say, because this is actually something very prevalent to me. Uh, as I mentioned before, I do live in Japan. I've lived here for about eight years. And during the time that I've been here, I've been you know, suffering with depression and anxiety and all of that is compounded on by the fact that I, you know, I don't have family here. It, it's very difficult. And uh, I just discovered recently, um, I, I was feeling the signs and I was feeling like maybe I have ADHD, which is why I'm sorry if it's, I, it, it's very hard for me to explain things. So I'm sorry if the way I talk sounds ran, rambly, but uh, I, I reached out to my dad and I, talked to him about it only a month ago like this is very recent and he was like oh yeah you were diagnosed with ADHD when you were a kid we just never told you or got you any help for it and I was like oh that makes a lot of sense but unfortunately in Japan because you know things are different here uh, ADHD is not uh, diagnosed in Japan and most ADHD medication is illegal in Japan so uh, I've made that decision to leave Japan and go back to America. So I'll be returning to America after eight years abroad uh, in January um, for a lot of reasons, but my mental health and, and seeking treatment is a big part of that. Um, and Twitch has helped me a lot in, in feeling heard and feeling less alone. And, um, but yeah, this is like 
the perfect topic to talk about right now because this is all things that I'm currently dealing with. I'm in the process of moving back to America while dealing with all these health issues and knowing that I can't really do anything about it right now for the next five months. So I just have to deal with it. And it's been tough, but um, talking about it and understanding it has really helped because there are a lot of people who are like, oh my God, yeah, no, I totally know what you're feeling. I just got diagnosed even though you might have to wait, I can, you know, tell you what my journey has been like. And it's, it's made me feel very hopeful. So um, yeah, it's been tough, but it's good to know. Recognizing it is like the first step, I think. Yeah. I've had the exact same journey recently, actually, like literally just a week ago, I just got diagnosed with ADHD, anxiety, and depression. So I'm like, just starting on that, like uh, journey of figuring out like what the best treatment for myself is and the right medications and all of that stuff. Um, but the last couple of years on Twitch specifically, I've never been super open about my mental health with a lot of people, but seeing other people on Twitch being open about theirs has made me more comfortable talking about my experiences. And in doing that, like you said, you know, a lot of people have echoed like, yeah, I, I felt very similarly, you know, I resonate with what, what you're talking about. And even people that have said that me talking about my mental health has helped them come to terms with like what they're dealing with and take steps for them to get help which is such a beautiful thing to see especially like we've said like in the queer community where it can be really um more prevalent with us and also a little bit more difficult to take steps to get help be help because in the medical community and i feel like this maybe not especially but also in the mental health community it can be scary talking to a therapist or psychiatrist and like not knowing uh if they're like a bigot or not and how they're going to react to you you know just sharing your life with them so yeah yeah i think i mean this is like probably part of it it's obviously everything is also harder for women in all those situations because there's the added level of distrust you know so i feel that for you i do it's getting does, anybody else, does anybody else have anything they want to add to that? I think, um, hi. Um, hi, hi, hi besties. <laughs> um, I do, I don't, I wouldn't say it's like a front that I put on really, but really in general, like I've grown up with ADHD, um, being a African-American, um, presenting male out of drag, um, and having ADHD, um, and being queer as well is, uh, really, tough in ways because every time I go out on the street um I think that someone who looks at me even like remotely without a smile on their face is gonna do something to me so I think that causes a lot of stress of wanting to leave my house um I love performing I'm a full-time drag artist but um something about with my skin and who I am I would rather sit at home and that's the troubles of like wanting to go outside now because of all the things that have happened in the past year uh, it's caused a lot of like, uh, I just recently got diagnosed with a lot of depression and that's based on like being comfortable with who I am. And so it's like really tough to like balance what I want to do and how I do that. Um, so it takes, it's, uh, I could, I, it, hmm, how do I explain this? Uh, for it, hmm, sorry, I ramble. So it's really easy for me to go out and drag in front of a crowd of 500,000 people, but it really causes a lot of social anxiety and depression if I have to go to the bank to deposit anything like tips or like my paychecks or anything. Um, so I feel like that has caused, been caused by like the Black Lives Matter movement and like how people treat Black people in America. Um, so I just stay at home and do drag. So Twitch has really helped me uh, want to be who I am on the internet and the safety of my own home without having to have that um, anxiety of going outdoors and possibly like losing my life just because the color of my skin. So uh, it's been really great to have Twitch and being able to connect with other people online and stuff like that uh, without having to fear who I am. So. Ed, do you have anything to add to that? Yeah, it's sort of a... Uh, uh kind of piggybacking off of uh, London's uh, comments. Uh, Twitch for me has really uh, saved my mental health. Um, it's really given me the opportunity to see myself as more than someone who has to work uh, a corporate job. Uh, I recently quit my full-time job of six years, um, sort of pursue content creation as a job. And 
the, that alone, leaving a job, leaving stable income is is really scary. But um, I tweeted about this uh, not too long ago, but I feel like I'm in control of my life again. Like I'm not waking up with anxiety every single morning because I have to log into a computer and do a job that I don't want to. So uh, Twitch has given me that opportunity to sort of control my life again. And my com community has been so supportive and uh, they've really noticed a lot of, of how much I've changed uh, personally. Just, uh, I don't know. I feel like, like I said, like it's nice to sort of, be able to wake up, uh, go to the gym, take care of myself, and then uh, just tackle the rest of the day. So I'm really thankful for Twitch as the platform and having a community here because uh, without Twitch and my community, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Like, I couldn't imagine having to gone through the pandemic by myself and then working a job that I hated. So uh, I'm really grateful for Twitch. Yeah, it's a, uh, <clears throat> especially last year when I felt really like, God, I, I'm not a scientist. I'm not a, you know, what can I do? Having a way to like connect with people and turn that into like free entertainment that turned into donations to give to people who could help made me feel like, oh, I can actually do something, you know? That's how Power I felt the last internet. Year, yeah. yeah. And then as far as like mental health and wellness, I've always found like um, what I eat, how much I sleep, my relationship with alcohol, so many factors, uh, like, I don't know, I can improve so many things in my brain by improving things with my physical body, I guess, if that makes sense. Like, you know, getting exercise. I mean, exercise and sleeping well will pretty much keep a smile on my face no matter what. Um, you know, it's crazy. It's kind of like lame, but how much taking care of this makes you accidentally take care of this, you know? Mm -hmm. It's so true. It doesn't seem like it's connected, but it's like the fastest way to fix or to help the inside sometimes is like the norm, the, the, the physical human things, you know, maybe I don't Absolutely. need to eat six and a half pounds of high chews at midnight. <laughs> you know, maybe you could though. do both. Yeah. Maybe I can get a full eight hours sleep before going to work. Things Everything like that. Everything in moderation. That's yeah. what they say. <laughs> it's shocking that if you take care of yourself, you feel better. Hmm. Huh. Absolutely. Thank you so much everyone <laughs> that shared those heart wrenching, touching, like stories mm -hmm. that's like amazing for me i just love drag and i wanted an outlet and um it just happens to improve my mental health being able to do expression and art and stuff like that and i think that's something that we can all relate to is like pouring your passion out into the world in a safe way on the internet i mean the internet can be really scary as well just as scary as being in in public in different ways but um, it can also be really cathartic too. Yeah, too, I just want to, sorry. Oh, no, people in the chat are just really thankful <laughs> that you guys are being so open. Everyone really likes it. Yeah, and I just wanted to add, you know, I, I work for the American Heart Association and it's, it, you know, hearing everybody talk, you know, it's a struggle, something I struggle with too, but working for an organization where it does matter, you know, we have our Heart to Fight ERG group and the organization really listens. Like they want to make a difference for LGBTQI plus, Americans, you know, with regard to, to mental health, with access to healthcare, cardiovascular health, and it's just been so refreshing. And it, it's personally, obviously important for me as a gay man to, to feel seen and feel supported on that scale. And, you know, like you said, year round too. So, you know, being able to talk about these things and then, you know, see the money that's fundraised and the research that's done and the passion of the employees and the researchers at the American Heart Association has been just such an incredible experience. And so I just, again, I just, I feel like a broken record, but just everybody coming here together and being willing to share this means a lot. Everybody who's donated so far really means a lot because AHA really does care uh, about LGBT Americans and their health. So it's just, it, it's really been warming my heart today. <laughs> Yeah, feel free to everybody to step in. We are going to be wrapping up here. Feel free to jump on the donation train. I'm going to be making a very mm -hmm. generous donation after the stream. And it's not really about how much. I mean, $5, $2, $1, whatever you guys can do. We have um, nine incredible creators here today in a Brady Bunch grid for you. <laughs> yeah, we've all been raising money like all weekend. And yeah, Trixie's doing a great job. And the American Heart Association is doing a great job. And anyone who donated today, yeah, we're really, really proud of you and grateful. Send us, send us some bells. 
<laughs> some bells. Bells too. Trixie really needs the bells. Don't forget to them. donate bells. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Can I just, can we go around and there's been a recurring thing in the chat. Everybody wants to know where to find everyone. So we're going to go around like a clock kind of deer. Do you want to let people know? Sure. My name is Dear Let's Play with Chafir. I like to play scary games here on Twitch. And you can find me at uh, twitch.tv slash deer here. D E E R E. Um, but on other platforms, it's dear, dear, like you're writing a letter, like, dear, dear, you are not fun. You are not cool. You are not pretty. Um, D E A R D E E R E. Thank you. Thank you. Are you writing me a letter? <laughs> yeah, I'm writing it right now. <laughs> I don't I have to follow you. you. I already follow you. Oh, thank you. Um, I, who, who's next? Would anyone else like to call themselves out? We're, London we're, is right next London's to me on the next. grid. London, God damn can that, Jer. I can't stand Jer. Just... <laughs> and then there's no way out of this. You have to let people know where to find you. Okay, fine. Uh, uh, again, I'm London Bradshaw, a member of Team Stream Queens here on Twitch and the member of The Fog. And I also found a Team Technicolor, which is a team for POC content creators, whether you're gay, straight, bi, any kind of um, content creation that works for us. Um, uh, I play a lot of Dead by Daylight and that's all I play. I don't play anything else. I'm going to download GTA today. Um, so find me on Instagram, Twitch, uh, YouTube at London Bradshaw. And if you don't like me, I'm still London Bradshaw. So <laughs> yeah, you, GT, you see you're downloading GTA. Oh, hell yeah. It's a real hard left from Animal Crossing. <laughs> 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 but, totally different vibe. Dear, do you want to, do you want to pitch your idea of how uh, Animal Crossing should collide with, um, GTA. So. I was I was talking to London last night about how I'd love to have a GTA uh, version of um, Animal Crossing where you can go rob a, a cat hooker. Oh, <laughs> so I I'm, I'll that. be I'll be looking up some mods later to see if my dreams can come true. I can rob <laughs> Isabel at the bank. Work. Not Isabel. Not Isabel McIntyre. She's a hardworking mom. Well, she's got money, so give me. <laughs> <laughs> I only started this game because I thought it was Animal Cross dressing. <laughs> and it could be if you wanted to be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Justin, where can everybody find you? Yeah. So on Twitch, I'm Justin Plus. On Twitter, I'm Justin underscore more. Uh, so, you know, come hang out. I, the only last thing I do want to point out is that Trixie one time came into my stream and said, I have a difficult laugh, but not to be embarrassed because you build a career off your own difficult laugh. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> You know, if people yeah, don't like me. it, just keep doing it, and exactly. at least they don't like it, and that's it. <laughs> at least you left an, imp an impression, you know. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know about you. I don't know about you, but uh, Twitch knows that I'm on the gender sexuality spectrum because the only recommended channels at this point are queer people. So. Yes. That's I love awesome. That. That's it's always perfect. perfect. Congratulations. <laughs> Twitch doesn't even suggest anybody like cis anymore. They're like, no, you're not going to look at that. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what, the, yeah, that's what they said. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're all saying. Um, who else can let, let, let them know where to find you, Misha? Uh, hi. Yeah. I am Misha, Misha Crossing on all platforms, M I S C H A Crossing uh, here on Twitch. I stream Thursdays through Sundays at 1 p.m. Eastern play a lot of Animal Crossing, Nintendo, like Zelda, Dead by Daylight, uh, Dungeons and Dragons at the tabletop RPG stuff. And yeah, we have a very queer, cozy, interactive community, just like hanging out and keeping each other company. Feel free to stop by. And can we be promised exciting hair colors? Yes, I change my hair color a lot. So yeah, normally my hair color is like yours it's like a nice platinum blonde but now we've got 613 yeah this going on just right a now. natural <laughs> just a natural, natural human color yeah casual um that's uh tof where can they find you uh so hello again my name is tof if you forgot not Toph like the avatar character i was actually very impressed that trixie said my name right everyone says it wrong the first time um <laughs> you can find me at twitch.tv slash tof and everywhere else, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, uh, Twitter, uh, Tof Games. Uh, one word, Tof Games. Uh, I do a lot of Animal Crossing, Nintendo variety, cute, comfy indie games. But on the weekend, we do Dead by Daylight. So cute, comfy weekdays and chaotic weekends. Just like what I love, cute and spooky. <laughs> like, like the doll. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show it to you real quick. I have it right here. Like my hello, like my uh, Hello Kitty <laughs> Chucky doll. Wow. This, this is the embodiment of what I like. Cute and scary. Beautiful. So if you perfect. like that, come on by. <laughs> it's perfect for the GTA um, Animal Crossing crossover. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. This is my dear in London. Somebody yeah. in the chat said, run over Tom Nook with a car. <laughs> <laughs> my pleasure. He would sue you. He would, he would sue you for everything you have afterwards. He survived. <laughs> I don't have to get rid of the body. But my, he would give you dolls. as much time as you needed to pay him back for, you know, running him over. So that's true. nice. That also, is true. just throw him down uh, Tove's well. So. It's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dolly will take care of it. <laughs> Ed, where can the children find you? Yeah. Uh, hi, everyone. Again, my name's Ed, or I Geeked Out. Uh, I play a lot of cute, cozy uh, indie games, Animal Crossing, Dead by Daylight. Uh, if you're, uh, So you can find me on twitch.tv slash I Geeked Out. But if y'all like, if there's any K-pop lovers out there, you can also follow me on YouTube or TikTok, where I usually show off my uh, K-pop collection and all that stuff. So everywhere uh, on social media, I Geeked Out. And yeah. Work. Thanks, Ed. Anybody who's anybody on the bottom want to speak? Anybody down there? Not you. Not you calling us out on the bottom. Oh, sorry, <laughs> the bottom. The bottom. The bottom. Well, uh, my name's Jeff. I'm at Jeff Rootlog everywhere. So uh, Twitch, uh, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, where I'm almost active. I also have a website, JeffRootlog.com, where I've been posting some more blog posts lately. Um, you can catch me live on Twitch Sundays, Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Fridays we do horror games, and Sundays we do. Uh, Final Fantasy 14, and usually in the middle of the week, we're playing through a story-driven game of some sort. Um, we usually start off the stream with chatting for a little bit, um, where oftentimes, uh, because we were talking about mental health here, um, I do tend to be a little open about my own depression and anxiety through those discussions as well. So if you need a comfy place to be, uh, you got it in my channel. Hey, Jeff. And Rain, where can they find you? Hello. I am the Rainbow Bard. I'm here on Twitch. I'm on Twitter. It's the Rainbow Bard everywhere. Um, my pronouns are they, them. I like playing Fortnite, Dead by Daylight, other stuff, uh, <laughs> tabletop. I like crafting. I like to pretend that I'm a drag artist. I'm not wearing my beard right now, but I like to pretend, pretend it's still there. But yeah, we love me. drag. I've never done drag before, but <laughs> the beard is tough. <laughs> I mean, a wig is uncomfortable. A beard appliance is, I've worn those. It's its a commitment. Well, I typically use eyeliner because I'm poor, um, but I like it, so. That's more comfortable. I mean, gluing the beard to your face is, it's, it's just, oh, it's horrible. Yeah, anyway. Justin, tell us about that. How is that, gluing yeah, that beard Yeah, it's glued. <laughs> <laughs> and then when Justin wants to do drag, he has to glue stick the beard down. Oh my <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you all for joining us today. For I mean, this wonderful call. Thank you to American Heart Association for having us this involved in something really incredible. Anytime we can make gameplay about helping people, everybody wins. And I'm Trixie Mattel, and... Um, I hope you guys had a good time. Make sure you follow all these streamers because they are all very regular, regular streamers. The type of streamers you put on the background while you wash dishes. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. That's my whole brand. You're welcome. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You can still donate on Tiltify. That link is not going to expire for some time. Um, and you can follow me everywhere at Trixie Mattel. At this point, if you're on YouTube and you haven't found me, you've actively avoided me. So I don't know. Between the, <laughs> the 12 YouTube videos a week I do, I guess you're avoiding me. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.